it, it was really, really important that this not be a pool party celebrating size 14 white girls living their best life. Because they're the people that are closest to living their best life already. Yeah, you know right, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I really believe in this. We're here to talk about Shrill, your new show based on your book. Give us the elevator pitch. Shrill is a um, half hour comedy on Hulu that is about a fat woman in her 20s trying to figure out how to live a good life in the body that she has. You know, we're really taught that you have to change your body and conform to a really specific, narrow, uh, literally narrow body type um, to have a good life and to be happy and to have a career and be fulfilled. And that's not true. And this is the story of our main character, Annie, discovering that that's not true. Because there's so few representations of fat women on television that are realistic and not like, terrible garbage. Did you feel representation pressure and like pressure to get it right? Yeah, for sure, but not pressure. I mean, it's more, it's an opportunity. When people criticize me, which happens a lot, often it's like, oh God, shut up about being fat already. Yeah, we've heard it, we know. And it's like, okay, you can say that, that I, that I need to shut up about being fat already, but you know what the women, what the contestants on The Bachelor look like? Like, it's yeah. not like there's been actual progress. Right. Like. There's a reason why it's like a news story that there are fat women in bathing suits on a TV show. It would have meant something to me absolutely as a teenager to see a size 14 woman in a bikini on the cover of Cosmopolitan or something. You know what I mean? Like that would have been huge for me, but that is, it's a minuscule microscopic shift forward. Yeah. And we really need to think bigger than that. And so, you know, I made sure that I had a talk with the extras casting for the pool party. And, you know, I said, we really need true body diversity on yeah. this set. Like we, Not it has just to like be racially 45 diverse. size 14s. Absolutely. Which is the average. Yeah, Like that absolutely. is the average size of the yeah. American woman. How yeah. is that? Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to make something hot and marketable or whatever. Seriously, like, this means something to me. And people always get it wrong, you know? And I I don't know that we did it perfectly, but I wanted to get it, do the best job that I could. Yeah. You know? You know, when people sort of boil it down to just, like, representation, it's like, well, what does this look like? What are the real stakes? How can we make it so everyone equally has an ability to like, yeah, live their le best life or not live a life of misery because the stupid yeah. socio-political bullshit is yeah. keeping us down. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, there are real, you know, systemic issues that are bigger than, do I have the confidence to go dance at the pool party? Like yeah. that, some, that means a lot, but it's, we just have to not stop there. Do your research and learn about other people's lives and the things that are making their lives smaller and more confined and less fulfilling. And like I've met so many people and I'm honestly thinking about buying a crop top, which I gotta say was not in the cards for me before, but I just gotta get in that pool. <laughs> One of the things that really was affecting, aside from like, wow, never seen this before, there's no self-consciousness other than this sort of arc that Annie goes through. Just watching. 80 shoot it, I cried and cried. And like, you know, we got to actually have that party because you had to have all those extras there in their swimsuits, like eating nachos and dancing. It was so, so fun and so special. And you could really feel, you know, that the people there, the extras in the pool party were to some degree going through that same process that 80 goes through in the episode where it's like, oh my God, it's so liberating to be in this group of people and see everyone's bodies and see everyone having a good time. And it was, it was really, really special. Yeah. Now I'm like, oh, getting a little. <laughs> I don't know that I'd had ever been in a room with that many like gorgeous fat women having a great time. I mean, at the very end, I got to actually jump in the pool and go swimming, which was very satisfying after having to just sit in a tent and watch people swim yeah. for two days, <laughs> yeah, which was enraging. <laughs> um, yeah, it was great. <laughs>